Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom version of the classic kids game, Operation. The first thing you need to do is select a character to be the patient. I chose this robot from last year's Maker Faire. Then you need to find some ailment tokens that you want to remove from the patient. Since my character is a robot, I decided to use some electrical components. Position all the pieces where you want them to be located on the character. Then using a pencil, draw an outline around each of the individual pieces. Make sure the outline is at least a quarter inch wider than the piece on all sides. Cut out each of the outlined areas, and use that to trace and cut out the same areas on three sheets of cardboard. Also, use the back of the character sheet to trace the outlines onto a thin piece of sheet metal. Using a Dremel tool, cut out each of the slots, and then grind the edges smooth. Take the three cut pieces of cardboard and glue them together, and then glue an uncut piece of cardboard on the back to seal it. Next, attach the character printout to the metal plate with double stick tape. Now it's time to wire up the electrical components. The basic circuit for this project is really simple. All it is is a battery, a buzzer, and a switch that's formed by the plate and the tweezers. To make room for the battery and the buzzer, cut out a small rectangle out of one corner of the stack of cardboard. Then attach the metal plate to the cardboard with double stick tape. Then you need to drill two small holes in the plate for our wires. To start wiring things up, solder the positive terminal of the buzzer to the positive terminal of the battery pack and then solder the negative terminal of the buzzer directly to the plate. To make the extraction tool for the game, take a two foot long piece of wire and strip the insulation off one end. Then wrap the exposed wire around a pair of tweezers and hold it in place with heat shrink tubing. Then take the other end of the wire and solder it to the negative lead of the battery pack. Lastly, secure the buzzer and the battery pack in place with either glue or tape. Well, there's how to make a really basic game of operation. But if you want, there's a lot of other things you can do to polish it up and make it look nice. If you want to make a plastic cover for the game, I recommend checking out this weekend project video. It gives a basic introduction into DIY vacuum forming. If you want to add lights to the game, you can take a pair of LEDs and wire them in parallel with a buzzer. This way they'll all go off at the same time. Or if you want to add sound effects to the game, you can wire in a simple sound recording module. To do this, all you need to do is wire the negative terminals of both battery packs together and then wire the play pin on the recording module to the plate. Or if you really want to go crazy, you can add an Arduino to the project, and then there's no end to the number of things you can do.